Hello! The face cam is on today. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, because, or at the webcam in my case, because what I'm mainly going to be looking at is my notes, which are a little bit over here. So I apologize if I'm looking over here while I'm talking, or switching between the two, but uh, I'm really not good looking at cameras and talking, especially when my notes are literally right there. So if I start kind of gazing over, my eyes are darting everywhere, so I'm not used to it. Anyways, back to what I'm actually going to talk about today. So, it's been about a month since my last proper upload. You may have seen some of my experimentation with streams, and we'll get to that later. But I thought I owe it to you guys to talk and explain about exactly what I'm doing with this channel, and what I want it to be in the future, and what my goals are for it. Um, up to this point, for me at least, YouTube has always been a side hobby or a distraction. You know, being a YouTube content creator isn't really what I want to do for a living. What I want to do for a living is make video games. Excuse me. But what I want to do is make video games. That's why I'm currently at college right now for game design. I'm pursuing what I want to do. And to that end, YouTube isn't really necessary to me. It's why the gaps between uploads are so extreme for me, because, I mean, there's just things that are higher on my priorities, more related to college than making YouTube videos. Uh, not to mention, I've also been, I was also working over the summer on top of that. But now, I'm in college, as a student, now I got a different problem. I need a source of income. So I have two options. I can go out and get a crappy part-time job that I don't like. Or I can make my YouTube content legit. So that's the direction I'm going to take this channel. And as a result, there's going to be some changes. First of all, now I'm really going to try my hardest to abs absolutely to upload consistently. Uploads at least once every two weeks. Um, consistency on YouTube is so important. I can't even begin to describe how important consistency is. In all my experience on YouTube, consistency is probably like the number one factor of success. You have to be consistent and you have to like upload on a proper schedule. And for as for my schedule of uploading, um, I'm going to have to experiment before I get it right. But at least once every two weeks at this point, like and I'm going to hold myself as hard as I can to that. Um, never enough to compromise quality, but I am chunking out my time dedicated to YouTube like it's a part-time job and that's you're gonna see that approach kind of seep into everything and what I'm doing with the channel now um what else we got here to that end treating YouTube like a job is gonna come with some drawbacks for me um, like I stated earlier YouTube and making videos isn't really like my forte it's not necessarily the most fun for me. I just kind of do it on the side. It's a, it's a hobby, but I'm not going to lie. Editing videos for me isn't fun, or it's not that fun. And if I combine an aspect of something I find fun, like Fire Emblem, and tie it to work I just don't like, I'm going to burn out uh, on Fire Emblem and making YouTube videos. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cover more games than Fire Emblem. Um, the majority of this content is still going to be Fire Emblem focused, but I don't want to limit my options of what I talk about on the channel. I have a lot of other games I want to discuss and share my thoughts with you guys on that aren't Fire Emblem. I don't want to have to force a Fire Emblem video out because that's going to sap any enjoyment that I do have making YouTube just out of it. It's going to just sap any ounce of enjoyment or fun I get from doing YouTube videos. So... I'm going to be covering other games that I enjoy that I think are worth discussion and worth um, analysis and worth putting out there. And that hell, even Fire Emblem can learn from and that anybody as a game creator or consumer can watch a video and take something away from it. It doesn't necessarily have to be about Fire Emblem. I just don't, I don't want to burn myself out on both YouTube and like the video game series I love so much because my higher problem is one of my favorite game series and I just don't want to turn that passion into strictly translated into a job. Um, 
Anyways, next point. All right. You may have seen me experimenting with streaming over the past month. And I finally decided on the role that streams will play on this channel. Every Thursday evening, I'll just be doing a relax, laid-back stream on whatever I feel like and interacting with the chat and my subscribers. I really want to build a sense of community on this channel. I know you guys, or there's already been a few people in the streams that have really gravitated to just the community that's kind of been building up around some of my content. And I really want to cultivate that and make a really good community that, like, I don't know, that I can be proud of and that uh, a community where discussion and kind of like, I want, like a community that reflects my videos in terms of the tone of the discussion and the tone of the interactions between people. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Same thing with the streams as it is for my content. In fact, most likely on the streams, I don't think I'll probably ever be doing Fire Emblem streams, to be honest. Um, maybe once in a while. But I just want to have laid back, fun times with my subscribers, with my chat enjoyment, kind of building that bond, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be about Fire Emblem or any game in specific. Just to having a good time hanging out, talking in the chat. Um, I tried... Fire Emblem streaming and kind of a let's play tone to my streams and it just wasn't working out for me. Uh, I think when I'm at my best when I'm streaming is when I'm relaxed and when I'm just doing what I want to and I don't feel obligated to do Fire Emblem content to be honest. Like, I think that's when I'm on, at my best on my streams and in my content. Um, and I think the last video I did on Fire Emblem, the Odd Rhythm video, is a result of that. I made that video because I wanted to, you know? Uh, and I think it got the quality of the video was reflected in that desire that I wanted to make it. If you compare that to some of my videos I was doing in January or February where I kind of felt like I had to do it and you don't get that same sense of, you know, quality from them. Although they're still pretty good or they're good enough. To add on to that point of community and building a community I want to be proud of and reflect my videos and just be a good place for discussion i've also created a community discord that you guys can join and i'll be trying my best to have some kind of exclusive events with you guys activities on there i want to be a place like i was talking about earlier for nice civil discussion about fire emblem and anything else that happens to be going going on in the gaming world there may be uh just dumb jokes having having goofs and gaffs you know gotta can't live without those so I guess just to recap, I really want to take this channel more seriously. Um, and as a reflection of that, when I want to, well, I want to take it more seriously because I want to turn this into a part-time job. I don't want to have to work flipping burgers. I don't want to have to um, work at a place I don't want to work, you know? And I feel YouTube is the best opportunity for that for me. And I think if I make good content consistently, you get something out of it too. Um, or at least that's what I hope the exchange is. That um, for the time I put in to this, you'll get something worthwhile from it. Or we'll both get something worthwhile from it. And with this sense of community that I want to build around my content, um, I hope it pays off. And that it, just not, it doesn't turn out to just be a monetary thing. Because that's... N that's one thing I hate. I would, I'm still going to stick to some of my principles that I would never put out a video that I don't believe is a reflection of myself for profit. I'm going to try to keep it as... I want the appeal of this channel to be its kind of... Civility? I don't think that's the right word. But I want the appeal of the channel to be, you know, this calm discussion, no baggage added on, you know? Uh, no no absurd clickbait no kind of ex like 10 minutes videos just for the sake of 10 minute videos uh you know what maybe in the future i'll have to go back on those on those principles but in terms of starting out i don't want to have to um compromise my values as a content creator that i have just for profit but at the same time i want to pour a lot more into the content i'm making uh and hopefully make it, you know, a part-time job and treat it as a part-time job. And, you know, 
I hope that comes off in the content in the future. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this vlogging format at all, so I haven't been looking at the camera, I've been looking at my notes. But I guess I'll look at the camera for this. Uh, thank you for watching, for hearing me ramble. I really hope that you do stick around. And I hope that, for my sake, that I can capitalize on the promises I'm making here. Um, I really want to have something on the channel for me to stick to. That, like, people can bring up, hey, you said in this video you were going to do this. I'm like, yeah, this is my job, or it's a part-time job, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fulfill that. So, yeah, sorry for my eye darting. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.